the Great Oxidation Event. The planet's first great biocatastrophe was not an extinction by fire or ice, but by poison. Known as the Great Oxidation Event, this crisis unfolded around 2.4 billion years ago and was caused not by an external threat, but by life itself. For billions of years, Earth's ecosystems were dominated by anaerobic organisms, for whom oxygen was a deadly toxin, but then a new form of life. Cyanobacteria evolved a revolutionary process, photosynthesis. As these microbes spread across the ancient oceans, they began pumping vast quantities of oxygen into the atmosphere as a waste product. This was a slow motion apocalypse for the planet's anaerobic inhabitants. The rising oxygen levels poisoned the air and water, wiping out countless species in the first and perhaps greatest extinction event in Earth's history. It was a terrifying planetary transformation, turning the very atmosphere into a weapon. The Great Oxidation Event is a chilling lesson in how a single biological innovation can irrevocably alter an entire world, demonstrating that even life's greatest evolutionary leaps can come at the cost of global annihilation. The Ordovician Silurian Extinction. The first of the Big Five mass extinctions was a terrifying global deep freeze that occurred approximately 443 million years ago. During the Ordovician period, life was almost entirely confined to the oceans, which teemed with trilobites, brachiopods, and the first primitive jawless fish. But this vibrant marine world was brought to its knees by a sudden and severe ice age. As the supercontinent Gondwana drifted over the South Pole, massive glaciers formed, locking up vast amounts of the world's water. This caused sea levels to plummet by as much as 100 meters, destroying the shallow coastal habitats where most life thrived. What makes this event so uniquely horrifying is that it struck in two deadly pulses. After the initial freeze and extinction, the ice age ended and the glaciers melted, causing sea levels to rise rapidly and flood the newly established ecosystems, triggering a second wave of death. In all, the Ordovician Silurian extinction wiped out an estimated 85% of all marine species, making it a brutal reminder of how quickly Earth's climate can turn lethal. The Late Devonian Extinction Unlike a sudden, catastrophic impact, the Late Devonian Extinction was a slow, agonizing death that unfolded over millions of years, beginning around 372 million years ago. This was not a single event, but a prolonged series of extinction pulses that slowly suffocated the planet's oceans. The Devonian period, known as the Age of Fishes, had seen the rise of massive armored placoderms and the first sprawling coral reefs. But this world was choked into oblivion. The leading theory points to the evolution of land plants, which for the first time began to cover the continents. Their deep roots broke up rocks, releasing enormous quantities of nutrients into the rivers and seas. This influx of nutrients triggered massive algal blooms that, upon dying and decomposing, stripped the oceans of oxygen, creating vast dead zones. For millions of years, life in the seas faced a terrifying, inescapable threat. The water itself was becoming unbreathable. This drawn-out apocalypse extinguished roughly 75% of all species, a horrifying testament to how even a positive development like the greening of the land can have deadly, unintended consequences. The Permian-Triassic Extinction, known grimly as the Great Dying, the Permian-Triassic Extinction was the closest life on Earth has ever come to being completely annihilated. Occurring approximately 252 million years ago, this event was a true planetary apocalypse, wiping out an estimated 96% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. The primary culprit is believed to be the Siberian Traps, a colossal volcanic eruption in modern-day Russia that spewed enough lava to cover an area the size of the United States. For millennia, this eruption belched catastrophic amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, triggering runaway global warming. Ocean temperatures soared, and the seas became acidic and starved of oxygen, killing nearly everything in them. On land, acid rain poured from the skies, and the world grew intolerably hot. What makes this extinction so terrifying is its sheer totality. It was a systemic collapse of nearly every ecosystem on the planet. It took Earth more than 10 million years to recover, a silent and empty world haunted by the ghosts of a lost biosphere.
the Triassic Jurassic extinction around 201 million years ago, just as the first dinosaurs were beginning their ascent, the world was violently reset by another devastating mass extinction. The Triassic Jurassic extinction was a swift but brutal event that eliminated many of the dinosaurs' chief competitors, including most large amphibians and crocodile like reptiles, effectively clearing the path for the dinosaurs to dominate the planet for the next 135 million years. The cause of this catastrophe is linked to another massive volcanic event the formation of the Central Atlantic Magmatic Province, a camp. As the supercontinent of Pangaea began to rip apart, immense fissures in the Earth's crust unleashed a flood of lava and gas across four continents. This triggered rapid and extreme climate change, ocean acidification, and a collapse of ecosystems. What's so unsettling about this event is its role as a grim gatekeeper of evolution. It wasn't a random cataclysm. It was a fiery crucible that decided which forms of life would inherit the future. For the thriving creatures of the Triassic, it was a sudden, world-ending nightmare. For the dinosaurs, it was the dawn of an empire built upon the ashes. The Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction. The most famous of all extinctions was death delivered from the sky. Around 66 million years ago, the Cretaceous Paleogene, KPG extinction, brought the 150 million year reign of the dinosaurs to a sudden and spectacular end. The culprit was a six mile wide asteroid that slammed into the planet with the force of billions of atomic bombs, carving out the Chicxulub crater in the Yucatan Peninsula. The immediate aftermath was a hellscape. A thermal pulse of unimaginable intensity incinerated everything within hundreds of miles, while global earthquakes and tsunamis racked the planet. But the true terror came afterward. A thick cloud of vaporized rock and soot was ejected into the atmosphere, shrouding the earth in darkness for years. This impact winter caused photosynthesis to cease, collapsing food chains on land and in the oceans. Temperatures plummeted for the dinosaurs and roughly 70% of all other species, it was a swift, merciless end. The KPG event is terrifying because of its sheer suddenness, a testament that cosmic violence can erase entire dynasties of life in a single terrible day. The Capitanian extinction. Just before the planet suffered its greatest cataclysm, it experienced a horrifying dress rehearsal. The Capitanian mass extinction, occurring around 262 million years ago, was a severe biotic crisis that served as a grim prelude to the great dying that would follow 10 million years later. For a long time, its signal was masked in the fossil record by the sheer scale of the subsequent Permian-Triassic event, but scientists now recognize it as a major extinction in its own right. The catastrophe was ignited by the Emission Traps, a massive volcanic province in modern-day China that erupted, pumping huge amounts of greenhouse gases and aerosols into the atmosphere. This triggered a cascade of environmental failures, most notably severe ocean acidification and anoxia that devastated marine life, particularly tropical reef-building sponges and corals. What makes this event so profoundly unsettling is that it was a global catastrophe that was, in retrospect, merely a warning shot. It demonstrated the planet's vulnerability to volcanic apocalypse, a terrifying preview of the even greater horror that was yet to come. The Carnian Pluvial Episode Not all extinctions are defined by fire, ice, or impacts from space. Some are born from water. The Carnian Pluvial Episode, around 233 million years ago, was one of the strangest and most transformative biotic crises in Earth's history, an age when the world was drowned by unrelenting rain. Triggered by another colossal volcanic eruption from the Rangelia Large Igneous Province, the event supercharged the global climate with carbon dioxide, leading to a period of intense humidity and millions of years of mega monsoons. For millennia, the heavens opened and did not close. This relentless global deluge caused widespread extinctions of both marine and terrestrial life, wiping out many of the dominant plant and animal groups of the time. The terror of this event lies in its suffocating omnipresence, a world without sun, perpetually slick with mud, where entire ecosystems collapsed under the strain of never-ending rainfall. It was this soggy apocalypse that cleared the stage, allowing a minor group of reptiles to finally diversify and seize control, the dinosaurs.